next video I will show you that how to winding the secondary wire and how to check the transformer after completing the transformer. At first, take the secondary magnet wire, two wire together, and fixed it on the bobbin. Then turns over the bobbin as I am showing. The secondary wire must be attached very tightly, remember this. Turn over up to 25 turns. It is the secondary wire so it is very thicker than primary and middle wire. Now I am going to show you the continuity test. Here is the continuity test. For this, set the rotating switch of digital multimeter at continuity test. Then you should connect the red and black wire into the transformer wire. If the transformer is made right then a beep sound occurs and you confirm that the transformer is at good position. It also shows the resistance of the wire. Which is very low. And connect those two middle wire which are not in continuity for 0 volt and another two wire is for 12 and 12 volts. As you can see. So you can get 12 0 12 volt for DC. And then cover the bobbin by wax paper. Here is the core material, which is made by iron that means normal steel. The flux density for it is one as you know and I have discussed earlier. Insert this core plate inside the bobbin and attached it very tightly so that it occupy all the spaces. So after completing the transformer now we are going to check this finally for voltage output. For checking at first, Connect an 100 watt bulb in series with this transformer as I am showing how to connect. Then connect it on AC mains at 220 volt. The checking method is very important. After connecting to AC mains you can see that the bulb is not glowing it does not illuminate it any light. 
so transformer is at best position but if you see that bulb is glowing so you have to sure that the transformer is damaged during manufacture time. It may be wrong in counting the total number of turns winding by you, so count perfectly when you make it in your home. And you can see the output voltage is showing nearly 6 volt and 6 volt. So when you connect the two wire for 0 volt then you get 12 volt output. So it is the video for making transformer in your home. It was the last video for the series. So thank you for watching my video. If this video helps you then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.